Hey everyone, Mr. W here. Today's lesson is how to turn an improper fraction into a mixed number. An improper fraction, an example of that is right here, 7 6 is called an improper fraction because an improper fraction is when you have your numerator is greater than the denominator. So you can see that the 7 of our numerator is greater than our denominator of 6. A mixed number is when you have a number that has a whole number, like here we would have one whole, and one, a fraction of one-sixth, and when you put them together, that's a mixed number. So our job today is to turn seven-six into one and one-six. We actually have the answer, but I'm just gonna show you some ways how to do that. Our steps would be to divide the numerator by the denominator, subtract the difference, and then write the remainder as a fraction, okay? So we're gonna turn the improper fraction into a mixed number. Well, our first step is to divide the numerator by the denominator. So our numerator is seven, and we're going to divide it by our denominator of six. Well, six will go into seven one time, and I'll show that to you right here. Here you can see that we have our seven, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All of those are six. And if I ask for one group of six, see how I'm circling only one? That's the one. So then we're going to go one times six. Our second step is to subtract. Seven minus six is one. And you can also see that here in the model. If we were to have a total of seven and we take this group away, right? You're just going to have that 1 6 right there. Our last step is to write the remainder as a fraction. Well, here's our remainder. That's going to come up to the top. I'm going to write it here. That's going to become my numerator. And my denominator, I'm just going to borrow from over here. It's just going to be 1 and 1 6. And you can see how that matches that exactly. I call this a type 1. That's just my term, where you have a one hole here and a uh, fraction. Type 2 will be just a little bit different. Let's turn the improper fraction into a mixed number. So here we have 10 eighths. Our first step is to divide the numerator by the denominator. So 10 divided by 8. Well, 8 will go into 10 one time. And this is, I call a type 2 because we don't have one whole, we just have a combination of, uh, of two fractions together, right? And if I were looking for a group of 8, I could say that I have really 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that really could be my group. That, I cannot get a group of 8. So that's where I'm getting my uh, group of 8, right? And so 1 times 8, be 8, and then we said we subtract. 10 minus 8 is equal to 2, and you can see that right here where we have our 2, right? And then the remainder, which is 2, we're going to write as a fraction. So that's our numerator, draw your fraction bar, and then we're just going to take that 8. So our answer, our mixed number, is 1 and 2 eighths. So in other words, we rewrote 10 eighths, which is our improper fraction, as a mixed number of 1 and 2 eighths. And in the models, you could show it like if you were to take this one here, right, and put it over here, right, if I X that out, and then take this one and put it right there, right? Do you see how that would make that your one whole? And then we have two left, which would be 2 eighths, So just another way with the models. Okay, let's try one more. We're going to turn the improper fraction into a mixed number. Our first step is to divide the numerator by the denominator. So in other words, 9 divided by 4. And this time, 4 will go into 9 two times. And I'll show you that on the model. Um, here we have our 9 slices, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and we're looking for groups of 4, right? So I see here's one group of 4, here's 2, and we can't get a group of 4 there, so this is where we're getting the 2. 2 times 4 
is equal to 8. And I could show that here by just looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? And then if we subtract, 9 minus 8 is the 1, which we're seeing that right here. Remember, our remainder we're going to write as a fraction when we bring that up here. And our denominator is simply the denominator that we started with. So our mixed number would be 2 and 1 fourth. And we can prove that here as well. I'm seeing uh, here's one hole plus one hole is equal to two holes here, right? And then this would represent 1 fourth. So that's how we get a mixed number of 2 and 1 fourth when we change that from an improper fraction. Okay, guys, hopefully this was helpful today, and we will see you next time.